Well, tonight's Indianapolis City County Council will hear the mayor's new plan to reduce gun violence across our city. Mayor Joe Hogsett says that these proposals are all designed to help protect Hoosiers who live here. But in the last few minutes, the Indy FOP is now sharing its thoughts brand new this morning. Let's get to our Samantha Johnson, who is here now. Well, you've just read through this new statement of this just coming down pretty recently. Yeah, just in the last few minutes, this is the statement that they sent over President Rick Snyder sending us this statement. And in it, they basically say that they oppose what they call unlawful and unenforceable gun control measures by Mayor Joe Hogsett. Now we know the city has a few very strict rules it wants to enforce, but new this morning the FOP is saying in part, quote, our law enforcement professionals cannot support creating unenforceable and inconsistent law ordinances that conflict with existing state law. The statement goes on to say, quote, we call upon the mayor to join the collective efforts that are already underway in the Indiana legislature to address these same steps in state law. If Mayor Hogsett does not like the current laws within Indiana, he should work through the prescribed process, state legislative process, to change them with the consent of the governed, end quote. Now this comes after Mayor Hogsett just last night explained to city leaders that he wants to ban semi-automatic rifles and raise the age to buy a gun to 21. He also wants to reinstate required permits to carry a gun here in the city limits. Another proposal on this docket is to hire federal prosecutors to investigate some of these crimes in our city. And supporters of this move point out that federal charges often mean longer sentences and more jail time in federal prison if convicted. That has the effect of separating uh, violent individuals from the networks that uh, could have caused their behavior in the first place and uh, benefits us as well. So we just heard from the Indianapolis FOP, like we mentioned. We're still reading through this. We'll have more coming up this morning at 630. That's also when we're going to hear what IP, IMPD is mm -hmm. saying about all of this as well. Tonight's meeting, by the way, starts at 530. We know that this is just the chance for the Public Safety Committee to really hear these proposals. Mm -hmm. We know that it will be up for full consideration later this summer coming up in July. All right, thank you, Samantha. So that's just one of the proposals that we're kind of hearing from right now. We can tell you that the, this morning the City County Council is also considering a proposal to put three new federal prosecutors on the city payroll and this focus would be to go after the people committing gun crimes and other serious violent offenses in Marion County. They will be assigned to the U.S. Attorney's Office and they would investigate cases with the hopes of bringing federal charges, which as you just heard often have those stiffer sentences. If those federal charges end up in convictions, that could mean more time behind bars in a federal prison. Uh, that has the effect of separating uh, violent individuals from the networks that uh, could have caused their behavior in the first place and uh, benefits us as well. So hiring the three new federal prosecutors for the rest of the year, it would cost the city about $225,000. But again, this proposal heads to the full council for consideration on July 10th.